so we've arrived in Cambridge now with this one. So are we gonna go shopping then? Yeah. She wants to buy herself a super dry coat, but she doesn't know she wants to spend 20, 50 pounds on it. I need to actually save some money for Friday. So we are walking to the shopping park now. It's quite a long walk, it's actually like a 20 minute walk because I come here um, a few months back, well not quite a few months back, and honestly, it's really, really far walk about 20 minutes. I'm hungry, this one's thirsty, so we're gonna go and grab something to eat and to drink real quickly. So yeah, it's really, honestly, isn't it absolutely freezing today? It's really cold, I mean, she hasn't really got a proper coat on or anything, so it's her own fault, really. Anyway, I'll take you along with us today and show you what I buy and everything at the end of the day. My hunger is going beyond, so before we start shopping, I just said, I'm gonna go and grab a sandwich in Tesco Express. So we're in Super Dry, and this one is buying herself a new winter coat. 240, 250 pounds, honestly, she's really shocked by her. Are you like my opinion on stuff, do you? You like my opinion? Everyone likes my opinion, to be honest with you. We're just having a look around John Lewis, where Sapphire decided to set up this Pokemon to one on, so he would not shut the hell up. Look how sick that is, like, you can make your own quality straight in a box with every ones you want, that's cool. About to look in my favourite clothing shop, Zara. I love this store so much, honestly. Trying these corded trousers I've got from Zara. I don't know what to think of them on me. Mine sucks, guys. I don't know. Opinions? Just having a cheeky look around TK Maxx. I'm really deep. DK my phone. I guess I can't pay my bits of money. <laughs> We're just oh. in the Weatherspoons in Cambridge. This one can't stop laughing over something. Of course, I have classic chips and I got the vegetable vegetarian pizza. So yeah, about to eat and I just got Pepsi Max as well. Literally, she's in such hysterics right now. But she... <laughs> I don't even know what we're laughing at. Do you know what even what we're laughing at? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. I'm going to eat this I'm really hungry now. Just about to pop in the super drive and this one's talking about something you don't want to know. We're just about, we haven't got long left in Cambridge but we're just going to quickly check in the Primark in Cambridge see if they've got any good bits in there even though we're going to Birmingham on Friday next to the big one. <coughs> so it's time to go home now from Cambridge but our train's at 11 past 6 and it's like 6 o'clock now so we can just go straight through to Norwich. I think I've had a good day. Have you had a good day, Sophie? Yeah, I've had a good day. Yeah, so it's all good. It's just really... Well, it's have to be done. Nice. Work hard. Um, yeah, and it's really, really cold as well. Hi, guys. So this is the bits I bought from Cambridge. It'll be, obviously, this is going to be the end part of the Cambridge vlog. It's only a very, very little vlog, so I didn't actually get loads of time to film that day. So just wearing this oversized beige cable knit jumper from ASOS. I'll link that in below for you. And this beige Ralph Lauren cap. That's my cap of the day, and also I just thought it was really colour coordinating really, really well. Anyway, I'll shut up and I'll get down and show you what I did purchase. Popped into TK Maxx, this little Belgian confectionery shop down there, I can't remember the name of it. Um, Kingdom of Sweets is it called, and also Primark there. So let me show you. I only picked up two bits from um, TK Maxx. The first thing I picked up is this. It's sort of like a dusty pink um, Sherpa blanket and it's a twin so it's going to be very 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 big. So that one which was £24.99 there which is a really really good price. I think they also had like a duck egg blue um, version of this in there. Can you just imagine on winter the cold evenings indoors cup of coffee not cup of coffee cup of hot chocolate watching Christmas films and snuggling in this with all your nice new pyjamas on. So that. And then finally, I love my Starbucks hot chocolate. 
I mean, I've already actually started opening them. They're really, really good. And you get marshmallows on the top of it as well. The Hot Cocoa Marshmallow Starbucks drink. They were £6.99 in there. Which I actually think is a really, really good price because you get eight in there as well. So, I, honestly, I had to pick these bad boys up. It would been rude of me not to. And then, that's everything I've picked up from TK Maxx. And then I've got things I've... Well, I picked up one item from that Belgian chocolate shop in there. These coat door. I think you would have probably seen them in my, when I bought them from Amsterdam. Honestly, I bought the from Selfridges in London before. They are absolutely a dream. I really, really urge you to try these chocolates. They are the best. The Cote d'Or Mini Bouche Lat Milk. And they're not actually bad. They are mini, but they are like 50 calories per mini one. But honestly, they are heaven. I mean, I've already ate them. Literally, I think I've got like one, of, one left. They're so good. Really, 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 really urge you to buy these. That's heaven. Then that's everything from that Belden chocolate shop. And then popped into Kingdom of Sweets down the high street in Cambridge. And I finally got my Wonka bar. That was £3.99 in there. I might finally get my golden ticket and go to Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Honestly, yeah, it's a bit of exaggerating. But honestly, I was so excited to find this in there. I don't actually think it's too bad for £3.99. But Kingdom and Sweets is generally quite an expensive candy shop. But honestly, I had to pick this bad boy up. I'm not going to eat. It's just going to be left on my side with all my other nice confectionery items, which I will show you when when I'm very 100% happy with all the items I've got on there. So that. And then I think that's the only thing I picked up from that Kingdom and Sweets. And I just picked up some bits from Primark, so I'll get down to it and show you. So I picked up a few bits um, from Mum, what she want in there as well. The five pack mini eyeshadow brushes. They were £1.50, reduced to uh, 30p in there. That is so cheap, so I picked up four of them. Great for little lucky bags over Christmas, or you know, yeah. Very happy. 30p, that is like £1.20 saving. No, you can work it up by full. Let's add it in. And then also, we needed a Christmas tablecloth. So we got this one. It's 100% cotton. Red tablecloth is absolutely, it weighs a ton. Great, great quality as well. That was £7 in there. Not many left of these at all, obviously, because everyone's just going Christmas crazy now, picking everything up and for some reason people are loving Primark Christmas items so that then got some of the these are the aqua face cloth these are luxury ones and they're ultra soft and 100% cotton made with sustainable cotton as well and they were £2.50 in there then I know mum wanted me to pick um, a pack of these up um, as a little uh, stocking, uh, not stocking like a little, I think, stocking or a Christmas Eve box, one of them, a sock in a bag, so these ones are five Christmas ones, and they are £1.50 in there, then for herself, I picked her up some of the Santa Christmas nails, and you have 24 nails in there, adhesive, and they um, have different sizes, so it depends what nail size you have as well. And they are £2 in there. <sighs> Pack of um, two gloves, so you get that colour and that colour as well. And how cheap, where else can you get a pack of two gloves for a pound? And these obviously stand out really, really quick in there. Then these, the little penguin mini marshmallows, which are £2 in there as well. Honestly, mum has wanted these for ages and she could not find them in any of the Primark. So when I saw them, I thought, it's not, I'll pick them up for her. But if I'm right, I don't know, is he Christmas or is he Halloween? Like, if he's got a Christmas hat on, but I don't know, is that his beak? The front part just seems a little bit Halloween y. Maybe it's a bit of mix. But that. Any few more bits. 
actually from Primark now. Just more Christmas tree decorations. We just do not need them. These little state ones, you get a little bit of fluff at the back. And they were £1.50 in there. And then finally, my mum has wanted one of these for ages. This fro. It's like a um, fluffy little fro. £10 in there as well. 60 cent reach time, 100 cent reach just in case you wanted to know the diameter just so in case you have a certain place that you want to put it. Honestly, I'm really, really ill again at the moment. But I think with this, mum is putting it around the bottom of her Christmas tree. So yeah, um, it's 36 cent polyester, 64% acrylic. I have no idea what any of that means. But yeah, that. So that's everything that I picked up in Cambridge. I hope you have enjoyed this mini Cambridge vlog. Give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll link all my previous videos in, videos in below so you can check it out. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.